All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for JoJo's, JoJo's Bizarre, Bizarre Adventure, Adventure, Part 6, Episode, episode 38. 38. The final episode of this part. Yeah. Um, we need some answers. What the fuck, Araki? Yeah. Like, I, I, I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what he does in this episode. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. This is uh, this is gonna be interesting. So let's let's not wait, mm -hmm. y'all. Without further ado, let's get into this. Yep. The blue dolphin carried you to the green dolphin. Yep. Heaven is a Florida island prison. <gasps> Jolene. Oh shit. Wait. Mm -hmm. Wait. So, uh, alternate world line? Well, multiverse? They, look, they look different. Yeah, who are they? Yeah. Well, this is a way to make it so that there's still the consequences to what happened. Yeah. Oh, you son of a bitch. Where are you? Holy shit. Oh my god. The ultimate time? Oh my god. Okay, there's our answer! Alright, well, fuck. So... But then why are we in 2011? What? Yeah. Why? What is this? Well, right, it's like, it's exactly the same except for slight changes. Yeah. Oh. Of the cycle itself. It. Whoa. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Run. Oh, Just fuck. Just back in and hide. Okay. It's not over. Wait. <laughs> so Mario's going to have to fight him one on one? Holy what shit. What the fuck? Oh. oh shit! Oh no! No! What? No! 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 Oh. No! What? No! What? 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 <laughs> Holy shit! What the fuck? What oh the my fuck? god! Holy shit! What? what does this even mean? No! No! <laughs> oh, holy fuck. What a, what a wonderful, wonderful world. world. Oh, shit. Run, run. run. <laughs> yeah, you can get away. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> he just Josephed him. Oh, this is a nightmare. They know. Everyone can slightly see their own future. Or remember their past from the previous world. Right, right. <laughs> so we're in a new universe. But does this mean Poochie's vulnerable now? Because if... It's beyond the acceleration. Yeah. He just has an above average attack stand. Yeah, yeah. But why here? Why right. now? There's something anchoring this moment or this this place in time. God, this is like that episode in Battlestar Galactica where they just have a few minutes before they need to jump again mm -hmm, every single mm -hmm. time. Blessed are the <laughs> He's creating his own scripture! <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. 
And that's how we can live our best lives because yeah. we know what's going to happen. But then at the same time, there's no agency, there's no free will. Can we call the future? This is some bad shit, dude. With our soul. Yeah, go off with this monologue. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh Fuck. shit! No, no, no! Oh, here's a here's a choice. Here's a here's a real choice. Oh, and he still goes to the right. Holy shit! It is fate. He tried to course correct, and it and it didn't work. It didn't work. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, naturally, yeah. yeah. Fuck you, Poochie. Of uh -huh. course he will. <sighs> Wait, so aren't you? Yeah, yeah, aren't you trying to break fate then, Poochie? That's true, yeah. Oh my god. Wait. What you gonna do? Oh, go in, go in! Wait, wait, wait! Wait! Weather report! Oh, oh fuck. Weather report's disc! Holy wait, wait, shit! Wait, 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 whoa, wait! Whoa, whoa. What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god! Holy shit! And yes! Yes! What? Let's go! Let's go! Yeah. And now he's moving faster again. Uh -huh. Okay. Yep, okay. Yep. But it's in a trapped space. Yeah. Suffocate his ass in here. Holy shit. What? What? Wait, 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 wait. Did oh, he create fuck. a vacuum by moving so yeah. fast in yeah, yeah, yeah. space? No, I think just by the weather. <laughs> you may be standing right <laughs> yeah. now, you can't even stand. Oh my god! Oh! Yeah! Yeah! All right, let's go! Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. But if you have too much of it... Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> and it's like, in some ways, life, it's moving you faster yeah. and faster. You can't outrun this time. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Oh, but it's happening to Emporio, too! Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, this is the remaining will of his soul. Because you, you abandoned him. You fucked with him. And now, this is Holy your own shit. fate. This is so poetic. Oh, shit! Yeah! Oh! I can't. Oh. Oh, really? But, you, you promise? Mm, mm. Holy shit. I love how slow this is. Yeah. Oh. And because he's moving at a faster speed. Yeah. He's experiencing this. Yeah. Yeah. Remember their names as you die. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the point! <laughs> oh! oh! Let's get oh! it! Yeah! 
Whoa, 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 whoa! Holy whoa. shit. Holy shit. We're unraveling the universe itself. What the fuck? Oh, no way. We're changing, like, tons of stuff. Yeah. Orlando, not Orlando. You know? Oh, like, yeah. Hermes! Come on. Oh! Doesn't recognize him. Because you were taking your time, Araki, that's cruel! <laughs> this is amazing. It's like gravity, we're all meeting each other. Uh huh. <laughs> you Weather's guys should. bringing you together. You guys should. You know. <laughs> Poor is just shell shocked. Like. And now. Oh, and now get diversity. Oh! Oh, hey! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Irene. Anakis! <laughs> of course, of course. Boyfriend. <laughs> she has the star, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the music just giving him this. Uh, I'm so happy. <laughs> He's been through a rough bit of it. Oh, oh my God! Yeah, yes, yeah. Right report. Oh my God! No way. Oh, oh, it's amazing. Wow. <laughs> and now they're just a road crew. Yeah. Oh, so all the way back to there. Wow. Everything's set, right? Uh-huh. So, yeah. Like, the... OP kind Wait. of showing like parts one through five and stuff like that. Like we're Wait. getting everything like getting called back here. Although, hang on, this could be also a goodbye. You know, no, uh, t uh, totally could to, be like the Joe Star as it you know goes through, basically sure. saying that's good, good and gone. Yeah, here's part four. Oh yeah, there's the our dumbass boys. Part five. See, I'll be there with you. Yeah. Oh, and then collapses it on an Emporio. Nice. Wow. What a way to Holy end it. Holy shit. All right. Holy shit. What a wonderful world. Yeah. Araki yeah. did it. And that, somehow... was, that was such a perfect <sighs> time to use that music reference. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Ugh. So many, so many wonderful references, but also mm -hmm. just what a, what a, what a fantastic episode to undo all the stuff. Right. But also still remain, you know, give the consequences by having it be a... Yes. Ah, so the souls of the people that died still didn't re get reborn in right. this world. They so gone. then when it gets reset a second time, there's nothing of their memories and stuff remaining nope. here. So Emporio still is alone. But if but, things go through the same steps and, and, you know, histories and things like that, people like them will exist well, 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 and right. then, but also the uh, mechanics of them being drawn to each other like gravity will exactly. still work yes so they yes. will still find each other almost immediately reality itself mm -hmm. like literally like Poochie could never them. take could never pull them apart right what a in, wonderful world yeah and, and in some ways that's where Poochie still kind of got what he wanted yes is that people will still be drawn to each other naturally through fate mm -hmm. and the yep. forces that bind people together. Right. And thus, we have our stone free, our strings of fate and destiny and all that. The themes all collapse in really, really well here. 
Poochie, of course, is the sacrifice for this new world. Mm -hmm. So be happy, Poochie. This yeah. is what you wanted, right? You, of course, are a horrible, horrible monster. You, of course, cannot live to see this new world. But your oxygen-poisoned blood was spilled for the sake of this mm -hmm. world. Yep. You should be happy. Yeah, I, I kind of really, like, like, was astonished by how much uh, they decided to make this slow crushing oh, yeah. death that was for great. the guy that's attained basically the time, super speed, mm -hmm. acceleration, seeing yep. the future, all, all these abilities and stuff, but he's just slowly getting crushed by the fist of the and stand of nothing his, he can of his late brother. Yeah. And yeah. it was his own ability in some ways that allowed this kind of shenanigans with the discs to even happen. Yes. So it's his own Mm -hmm. It's his own it was, things also coming well, back in on, on so many different layers, right? So There's many the different fact layers. That it was his stand's ability that made it so that this, the disc could be put into Emporio, right? Right. Which, hey, almost like you were fated to die here. Mm -hmm. Two, there's the fact that you could have actually tried to talk things out with your brother, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You didn't. You did not. You, you, you very much didn't. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So you made your own bed, and yep. now you lie in it. Exactly. Right? And, oh, even better... The bed you'll be lying in is an extra dimensional room where no one will know that you even existed. Mm -hmm. There will be no grave. There will be no nothing. Mm -hmm. Right? You're gone. You're gone. Yeah. I Wonderful. also love that because Weather Report is uh, a stand that kind of active, like activates on its own. Like, Weather Report spent so much time trying to learn to control it, but it still would do its own thing, basically, in its time here. So it's the perfect stand to have given to somebody else because it's it doesn't need right. it's, someone else. It's, in order it's to actually fairly it. autonomous, right? The, the the thing of getting good with using it is getting to know how to actually make it do it what back. you want. Yeah, yeah do specific right. things. But mm -hmm. the idea that oh no, you specifically antagonized this stand by the way that you treated uh, mm -hmm. your brother. Yep. Therefore, the stand is like oh no 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 no. I get the opportunity to see you again. You're dead. You're dead. Also, also, uh, this is uh, this is the reason why Araki maybe uh, wrote out Purple Haze from part five. Because, you know, it's it's just, how do you how do you deal with poison gas, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, you, you win or you don't, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's just how it is. How do you beat a super speed person? Make them trap themselves in a room where you fill it with poison gas. That's, that's about one of the yeah. few ways only mm -hmm. that you could yep. do that and have it actually work. Yeah. So Poochie was so confident mm -hmm. in fate and the future that he threw himself in here. Right. And he kind of in some ways forgot about the past and mm -hmm. his own, the consequences of his own actions leading to the decision that Jolene made under the water, which is great because that was something that he could not have foreseen, mm -hmm. basically. Yep. Because it was happening right. um, in a place during the accelerated time where he did not have the ability to see what was going on. Meaning like there was a point where they separated far enough away from him that mm -hmm. it was just the basic, no, they're, I'm chasing them. There's bubbles right. and stuff coming back. And I, I can't see what they're doing over right. there. Right, but I, I, I know where Jolene is, and so I'm going after her. Right, so and Jolene this, literally saved yep. everything by her, her right. decision that, here. That is, a, that is a wonderful way to have it still, like, to tie, to tie the defeat of Poochie to the actions of all of the characters, mm -hmm. um, even if it's not their direct actions, right? Mm -hmm. But it's all of them working together. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Um, the other thing that I think is kind of poetic here, Pucci's blind faith to mm -hmm. fate yeah. is also what killed him. Sure. Because if he had tried to, say, move against fate, maybe it wouldn't have worked. Emporio wasn't able to actually go left, right? The, mm -hmm. the broom hit him and all that stuff. Right. But if he had, say, tried to move just a bit faster, because he still did have the ability to alter time, mm -hmm. so he could have sped up to Emporio theoretically and just right. killed him before he got to the room. I think you know? he wanted to do it inside the room so that it wouldn't affect anything outside the room. If that makes sense. Oh, like sure. He didn't want to fuck up the world again. No, I, okay, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. all right. So in that cool. respect, one of the things that could be really cool here is that during the time when he was uh, getting crushed, he was experiencing it at that super slow speed. So that's why it mm. was shown that way. But right. in actuality, it was all just, you know. Sure. Just, Although I guess he could have slowed it down to normal again so that he can, like, try and reason with Emporio or something. You know, wait, 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 wait. Right. On. In, in that respect, it's probably a lot more simple in that it's the, 
Well, when he's getting poisoned, he can't use his stand, you know? <laughs> like, like, or when he gets poisoned, it'd be a very bad idea to use his stand because right. then he'd be getting poisoned faster than Emporio would be. Right. Right? So, yeah. you know, maybe don't do that. Maybe don't do that. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I but, loved the, oh. the, the visual of it was so satisfying of just seeing the fist pinning his face to the ground and slowly mm. crushing it. Yeah. Like, I know that, you know, okay, there are some limits. Iraqi will do all, all sorts of things to animals and dogs. But when it comes to humans, you can't actually show a face, a, a head getting crushed like a watermelon. And so, yeah, we go into a uh, classic attack rush, and it's wonderful. But there was that part of me that was really hoping it would just, you know, just... I mean, that's that's pretty... Oh, yeah, no, it, That's it, pretty brutal. Right it, got, it got as close as Iraqi probably could, you know. And then he's like, okay, and now we'll go into attack rush. Yeah. Yeah. And then it... Resets again. Again. No one can n remember the future, mm -hmm. but hey, in this yeah. world, you find your friends again. Mm -hmm. And they're a bit different, but they're here. They're here. I, I love also the idea of if history is the same, right? Mm -hmm. Meaning that all the stuff in the past happened, what are the kinds of things that will be the exact same but other versus things like butterfly effect versus different. like butterfly effect different yeah because yeah, yeah. like well one of the things that that uh stood out to me in the ed mm. yeah, yeah, is yeah. when they're showing all the stuff of the different parts right yeah we see jonathan playing with his dog i forget the dog's name i'm sorry um but in canon timeline that dog was uh was turned into a crispy toasty crispy toast mm -hmm. right that's true and also we specifically don't see a dio there yeah. Which could just be that this is before Dio came along. I think it's before Dio came along, yeah. But but theoretically then would part three have happened. So there's a part of me that likes to think that this is something where Dio just never even met the Joestar family. The the the, mm. the bloodline conflict did end, right? Jonathan was able to have a happy life. That'd right? be cool. And and because of fate and things like that, you still have the Stardust Crusaders going on some kind of adventure. Right? Some kind of trip, you know, yeah. But but who knows? Maybe maybe things turn out different. Maybe not. You know, maybe Kakyoin didn't get turned into a donut, right? You know, maybe he actually. Oh uh, yeah, Shigechi's alive in the part four bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there cool. there there are some things that are changed. But that's also but that that uh that that uh not paranoid like it's seven in the boat in part five. So okay, everybody, yeah, 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 everybody's alive. But like, and and maybe Fugo didn't leave, you know. Yeah. But there's that part of me that's like panning for gold, you know. Where I'm like, but does this mean that that Dio maybe still might have turned into a vampire and be out there somewhere doing other or, shit? Or or Dio created basically because in some ways you remember you have to have Dio be around because mm -hmm. Jorno's around in the part five bit. So that's true. So what it is is maybe that there's just another bloodline that's going down there that mm -hmm. has the And it's not actually Dio, it's Rio or something, you or, know. Or 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 has the freedom maybe of which they're not necessarily having to have the burden of being, you know, connected to the Joe Stars. Sure. I mean, they irrevocably severed that because it's the The star know, might be there, but that doesn't mean it's well, actually well, Joe Star. Well, no, because remember in part one Dio fused with Jonathan's body right, in right, order right. to survive, thus creating oh, things shit. there. So yeah. if Jonathan didn't have that happen, right. then theoretically Dio would just be a regular guy. And so Giorno just... Giorno yeah. is just a regular guy with no stand, but has a lot of friends and stuff in Italy, you know? Sure. I, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, who's who's to say? Right, I'm really whole... excited to see part seven and see yes. what, they, what they play with this, mm -hmm. but I feel like, I feel like on some level... The thing that makes the most sense to do with part seven, if they're going with this route here, is don't try and like tie it directly super hard to all the past stuff here. Yeah. Part six is in some ways giving Iraqi a clean slate mm -hmm. to kind of reboot the series. Yeah, the, the like, setting and premise and everything for the main character and who they are. Doesn't will, have to be the exact doesn't same. Doesn't have to be the exact same. And what Araki yeah. decides to do with that will dictate a lot of the things of not just that part, but like the world itself, you right. know? Um, because yeah. there must always be a Jojo. But, mm -hmm. you know, the, they might still be technically Jojo, but mm -hmm. like not actually a Jojo. You know, like not actually yeah. a Joe Star or anything like that, right? Yeah, it, it feels... It feels like the kind of structural change where 
a Rocky can do a kind of a a refresh on all the things that he maybe feels like he's played out a bit mm-hmm. to their to their to their utmost here. Also, I would say if uh, because this is at least officially at the very least ending the whole Joe Joe Star situation. Mm-hmm. Um, if now, she does have the star, she does have the star. Yeah. But the similarities that part six had to part four, where it was like, ah, uh, mm-hmm. Iraqi took a lot of the stuff of part four and other parts and things like that, and then kind of like refined them and, mm-hmm. and, and you know, and, and, and made them just mwah, so much better, right? Yeah. What if he did a similar thing with part five? Because the way that part five was different mm-hmm. is that the JoJo was not connected, sure. right? Mm-hmm. So if you take that and make it so that you have a JoJo that's not connected, but now the reason why they're not connected is not because they're the son of Dio or something like that, right, right. but it's because because of time and everything being so so changed and whatnot, mm-hmm. we can have someone that could be a total completely rando, right? Yeah. With with completely new cast, completely disconnected but from just everything. Somehow has the names naming convention of JoJo somehow. Yeah, of JoJo. Right. Yeah, and and that way we also. Um, maintain the sanctity of this happy ending. Right. Because the characters mm-hmm. don't need to be in any more exciting stories with crazy bad guys. You don't need to call up the Speedwagon right. Foundation necessarily. And exactly. Like, Where's Jotaro? We need they, him. They yeah. are in their wonderful world, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So, you know, let I it like be. I like that. I also think that in some ways, given that a lot of the stories kind of retread some of the same locations in a lot of ways, like mm-hmm. we kind of had a, like a circle, and okay. now part six goes to the U.S., I feel like actually like having the story be in the U.S. makes a lot of sense as well. That would be pretty fun. Because we've been basically to There's everywhere. more than Florida, you know. Well, right, right. But if you think about all the places that we've been, the only place that I would say that kind of needs to be explored in a JoJo sense is Australia. And <laughs> I would like it to be either in Australia. Oh, Australia would be or, amazing. Or the U.S., basically. Holy shit. Wouldn't that be amazing? That, oh, like, mm. you saw how he handled Florida. Yeah. Imagine a Rocky, like, getting to, like, double down on either the wildness of Australia yeah. or the US. Like either one of I those mean, just works really well. Okay, but what about Canada? Canada isn't a real place. <laughs> 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 we just we just open with like uh, maple syrup and then <laughs> it's just that's just America's moose horns, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just the JoJo is a hockey player, you know, and, and, and that's how, a sports and that's how you show sports them, anime a, JoJo. Well, from sports background, but that's also how you can show them being a badass. Because as everyone knows, hockey gets very violent, and it's all about the fights. Yes. So you you have this JoJo that's in there, and then suddenly, rah, 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 as they as they're beating the shit out of some other player, except they go aro 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 aro, not ora ora ora. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 Okay, okay. All right. I like where we've kind of thrown our head cannon out there into the ethos or into the ether. Let's see how that plays out probably in, you know, seven years when day Productions actually does part seven. Because that's the other thing. The one other thing that I do know about about part seven is that it is long. Like, like... Okay. It's, it's big, right? Now that might just be because Iraqi switched to the monthly format and everything, right? Oh. So so it takes more time to do it. Gotcha. But what 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 happens if if part 7 is actually like, no, this is going to be like 60 episodes minimum. <laughs> like I feel like I feel like if David Productions wants to take a break from JoJo's, that's fine. That totally makes sense. You need a break feel, so you can go back well, into it. Well, no, but I could feel also a little bit even in this part that there was some, there was some, there were some pains in the production side mm, of things. There. Sure, okay. there were a lot of characters that were just silhouettes that grayed out in the background. There were a lot of like, um, just kind of minor moments mm. where the the shots didn't feel filled in. I would say kind of properly. Okay, but also there was a big gap of time. In between the releases of the uh, the first chunk of episodes, yes, and the and second, second chunk, one. that is very so, true. So that I think ties to a very clear like there was some production. I production can see problems that problems in that regard. So maybe maybe we do wait a while, but I would mm-hmm. say that if you wanted to end the anime, this is not a bad place to end it. Honestly, no, because it's this, not. No, this that's, isn't no, this yeah. isn't the cliffhanger uh-huh. bullshit of the previous episode where we're like. Fuck you if you make us read the manga after right, right. this. It's, it's this, the, no, 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 no. If anything, 
No, this is this is a nice bow to be tied on everything here in the way Araki only really could have. Yeah. But God, what a what a callback to all of the mm -hmm. the past moments we've we've been through with the OP being unique. I I I I, I can't believe we we like we're like oh they're gonna change the OP at some point and we're like eh they didn't do it here okay well then whatever yeah, no. no they do it here it's like oh my god and, what and <laughs> what going through all the previous parts with manga panels and all that mm -hmm. stuff that was just mm -hmm. that that oh. was an experience it's been like a gold experience I mean if you it's will. it's been like four five years for us Jacob like yeah. JoJo's yeah That's I can't so imagine good. what it's like for the people who have like grown up with it and are now like forty. And they're like, yeah, I've, I've read the manga since it started. Yeah, I got to see, I got to see this whole stuff animated. This right. is special. I got to see, but it was Ido on weekly release. <laughs> I mean, there those people don't exist, of course, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. I was there, man. <laughs> I was there, man. <laughs> but ah, this ah, was beautiful. So, so satisfying. So mm -hmm. beautiful. And uh, we're going to be doing another show after this because there's another uh, currently airing show that we hmm. are that yeah, we're very fond we're of. Very fond of, and yeah. uh, I don't want to wait. So <laughs> no. Um, no. Uh, yeah, we're going to be following this up with Vinland Saga season two. Yes, I'm very excited to go back to uh, peak Hicks historical fiction. Hmm. Um, gimme, yeah, gimme, 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 and uh, we'll be doing that uh, next week. But uh, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the first episode's reaction of Vinland Saga Season 2 right now, though, go check out the link in the description below. For our Patreon, you can get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yes, yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. Next time.